I want pom 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 pom. Today, when I was looking out of the window, I saw a bunch of kids going someplace and carrying backpacks. They look miserable. What in the world? I thought. And it turned out it was another cycle of hell for them. I mean, a new academic year just begun. Fortunately, these circles of hell are over for me. But I still decided to make a video for you about my first day at school. For some reason, Grandma thought I would be a first grader for several years, but I was a smart little girl. So. But I remember you had a repeat year. Don't you tarnish my reputation? I'll tell them about it later. By the way, you gotta like the video if you want to bug out every time you hear the word school. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm done with talking now. Time for the school story. And this is how it happened. I just escaped from another place where I had to follow a schedule when my grandma told me all of a sudden, This year you'll go to school, Claire. School? What a nasty word. Yuck. I'm not going there. No way. I was told I could do whatever I want after kindergarten. I was ready to have fun. I didn't have a school on my plan, but I decided to find out what it means to be going to school and whether I can have fun there. What? Where? To school? Why would I need it? They'll teach you to count. And you'll have to learn the multiplication table by heart. You'll make a bunch of new friends. And they'll give you unpalatable food at the cafeteria. And if you study well, you'll suffer from a lack of sleep, headaches, and will have to get up early every Every day. What do you say? Ready? Ah, I don't want to go there. School sucks. No, no, no. Kindergarten was enough. I learned to count to 10 and spell out words. This is quite enough for success. So, if you want, you can go to this place. How do you call it? School? Did you go to school, Grandma? Oh, that old lady. And I was an excellent student, and that's why I'm enjoying life now. A wonderful big house, a family. Perfect, you see? And I was a bad, bad student, but I also live in this wonderful big house. Would you stop making the child nervous? I see. A wonderful big house, a family, but I have it all too. Why do I need to go to school? Finally, Grandma somehow managed to persuade me that school was a cool and fun thing. And that I would be a loser if I missed this opportunity. I couldn't wait for classes to start. I was walking back and forth and asking every five minutes when I could finally go to school. Is it time to go to school yet, Gram? Ten more days left. Can I go sooner than that? No, all kids will go to school in ten days. And why can't we all go there sooner? That's because other kids have brains. And now I fully agree with Grandpa. If I only knew how boring studies would be, I would have packed and ran away to some other country before school even started. But I was little and a silly girl back then, so I kind of thought of school as like Disneyland. Gram, Grandpa, will you get me a backpack? Why would you need a new one? I have one that I use for fishing. Grandma will wash it and you can have it, huh? But it doesn't even look good. Come on, look at this trendy color. And it's good, not only for school, but for fishing, huh? No, don't worry. I didn't use that backpack. I got sad to the point I almost burst into tears. So grandma promised to get me a new backpack. And they did get me a new backpack with butterflies and flowers and fairies on it. Or just butterflies and flowers. I don't remember exactly. I just remember it was bright pink and bright to the point it could make you blind. And I would constantly ask adults how I should behave myself at school. Grandma had her own style of answering questions like that. Be good and nice to everyone. Make as many friends as you can and make the teacher see how much effort you put into studies. Effort? Yeah, school is a very important part of life, Claire. To cut it short, don't let other students make use of you. Just give them one of those looks when you come. They have to know who they'll deal with. Make use of me? Yeah, and tell your teacher you're not a dummy, understand? That you require a special approach. And I also remember the day when we went to buy a school uniform for me. I thought it would be something sophisticated, of some bright color and with pictures on it. I never thought it would look like a funeral outfit. Pull it up, come on, come on, some more. Like this? No, it looks better when it's a bit down. I think this uniform's too big for me, Graham. It will last you some time, you know. Some time? Right, it'll last till graduation. Grandpa was so wrong. I tore this uniform apart on the third week of studies. But I'll tell you about it next time. Uh-huh. When the day finally came, I was really nervous. I couldn't sleep the night before. And so I was yawning all the time and was really sleepy. I'm serious. I looked awful. The whole farm would freak out if they saw me like that. I had red cracked eyes. My uniform was several sizes too large and made me a real clown. I had a bright pink backpack and of course grandma tied giant bows on my head. 
I was really happy to see my dad though. He brought a huge flower bouquet and that's what you call the right approach to things. Congratulations on your first year of school, Claire. Thanks. Here you go. Oh wow, is this for me? They look great. No, this is for you, teacher. Make sure not to smash them. What? Isn't it me who's supposed to have a fun day? How come the teacher gets flowers? Something's wrong here. She's done nothing to get these flowers. Yeah, how about picking some flowers in the household plot for her? What? Are those weeds? What difference does it make? Isn't it attention that matters after all? When we arrived, we saw a whole bunch of kids outside. You probably want to ask me about my first impressions and stuff. You know, I was sleepy to the point I couldn't think. Grandpa was pushing me from behind and I was walking with my eyes closed. I was almost sleeping. I woke up when the school principal was delivering his speech. Congratulations, dear students. The fun time has begun and it will last more than 10 years. What? To be continued.